Good afternoon, Shane at DIY Retro Arcade. Today I wanted to show you how to install our Easy Jamma kit. Uh, this is to install a Pandora's box or any standard Jamma board. This uh, is pretty much a plug and play setup. Even the novice should be able to do it. The main kit that we sell on the website will come with the harness. It will come with two of the Sanwa joystick cables and of course the PCB will also be included. Um, the PCB will, will already be populated just like this board right here. It'll be, it's, it's, it's plug and play. I'm going to use this one right here that doesn't have the, all the JST connections on it. That way you can easily see what the board itself looks like and how it's labeled. Uh, it's set up for your standard Pandora's box, six buttons. You have your player one is here, your player two is here, and you have everything you need. You have buttons uh, A through F, which are your standard six buttons, player one, player two, your two sound walk connections for your joysticks. You'll have your player one start, player two start. The one good thing about this board is it also has your coin. And on a lot of the JAMAs for the uh, Pandoras, the coin button is there's two wires on it but it's all based off of the player one coin they don't usually have a wire on the on the uh, player two coin because this was never used before Pandora's box doesn't use a first player second player coin system it's all one central bank so there was never a need to have coin player one and player two but now on the DX's the coin two wire is used for a pause button so this will easily let you install a pause button on your machine uh, plug and play without having to solder anything to the uh, actual JAMA harness. Uh, this also of course also has your left and your right speakers and the one thing that we also added into this board which I think makes it pretty cool is we give you a 5 volt power source out and a 12 volt power source out and this will be uh, operated off of the main switch of the arcade cabinet. You'll hook this into an EMI switch at the back is what will power the actual unit on and when you do you'll get 12 volts here and 5 volts here so if you want to hook something in then you know if you want to hook a marquee LED buttons or, or whatnot you can do it right there the uh, let me get this out of the way your power supply that you use for the build will look like this or should look like this this portion right here your ground neutral and your lined will be provided all, all this stuff that I didn't show you in the main kit will be provided for you or by you or needs to be bought extra but this is this will be your main power switch your your EMI filter uh, if you need to see how to hook the power spot up we have plenty of videos that show you how to do that so I'm not going to do all that um, I'm going to show you how to hook up the actual harness on the actual for the actual board This right here is what the harness will look like. It's basically double-ended. So you have uh, two females, and what this what this will do is on one of the females you'll notice that it has this branch of wiring off of it. Your yellow, red, and black. This is your common uh, wire up for any jam harness to the power supply. Your red is is the five volt. Your yellow is the twelve volt and your black is the ground. All you'll need to do to hook this harness up to the power supply, it's very simple. Let me loosen these up real quick. All you'll do is you'll take your ground wire and push it down on either one of the grounds Again, your red wire is the 5 volt. Do not mix the 5 volt and the 12 volt up, or it's basically going to burn your board up as soon as you power on. And anything you have hooked up to it, it'll it'll usually get it. So it's very important that you hook the red wire to the 5 volt and the yellow wire to the to the plus to the uh, 12 volt. Arcade is almost always that color. Your 
12 volt will go right here. And that's all that needs to be hooked up for the actual harness itself. Again, this, this side right here will go to the EMI filter. Again, I have different videos that will show you how to hook that up if you don't know how. But that's all you really need hooked up. And then you have two ends now to this. And the way this will work is the end that has the wiring actually onto it, this is where you need to plug your JAMA harness in. Now this harness it's very important this is always the power where it says 12 volt 5 plus and minus this is always the power side so if you'll notice on your JAMA or excuse me on the back side of the PCB board you have this small little section right here and then you have the big section this little small keyed section is always going to be the power so you need to make sure that you always have the power going to the power so it needs to go just like that it'll plug in either way but if you do again you're gonna burn the board up so that is very much so wrong and that is correct so make sure like I said your yellow red and black are always over this small little section always improvise that it's very important but all you need to do is push that down onto that and then your board is now hooked up. And then you have this section right here. And you'll take the actual PCB. And again, same thing. This is your power. That's where the power needs to go. So that tells you which way the harness turns. Because it does matter. Again, actually I'll turn it like this so it's facing up. But there's your power. So take this right here and simply plug it in. And this right here is 100%, you know, mount this up with PCB feed or however you want to mount it. Uh, mount this on the control panel itself. And then all you'll need to do from that point is simply take all the jumpers and plug them in just where they go. Uh, this plugs in similar to like how a factory arcade one up uh, encoder would work. It would be the uh, exact same. So your button, let me just stick one here and I'll show you. Basically on your buttons it doesn't matter which side you put what. Uh, it doesn't matter if you put the black on this side or the red. Buttons work by simply closing the switch so it doesn't matter what's where and then take the button and plug it in that right there would would give you the a button on player one and it's as simple as that just run them to all the buttons joysticks the same way the important thing about the joystick is it has to point up like this this has to point towards the monitor so on the machine itself it would mount down like that needs to be turned like this if not the uh, directionality will be incorrect and then simply the pre uh, the cable that comes with them is you'll you'll see how it's got the lip like that that lip catches right there so this right here will simply go on just like that and it'll lock in place you'll hear it click and that's ready to be plugged in and then again all you do is plug it into whichever one you know player one or player two simply plug it into the PCB and that's hooked up on your speaker uh, it will matter when you wire this up on all your speakers you'll always have a plus and a minus if you look at this you can see right there you can see the minus right there and the plus right there the red will will go on the plus the black will go on the minus and again it's, it's the same as anything else stick the wires on the terminals and then for your left speaker plug it into the left port your right speaker plug it into your right port if you're going to use the 
uh, the 5 volt out or the 12 volt out we sell cables like this right here this is a uh, JST2 to a this is a 5.5 by 2.1 barrel connection which is your standard barrel for the vast majority of almost everything uses this uh, LED harnesses, most your marquee connections uh, pretty much almost everything is, is, is that nowadays uh, to have to, to use it if you want to use a let's say a, to a 12 volt amp and a 12 volt uh, marquee you could plug that in right there which would give you the 12 volt out whenever you turn the power switch on and put like a splitter on this a two-way three-way whatever and then run this you know the rest of the way you know with whatever cable you use uh, to the amp into the marquee and whenever you turn the machine off and on through the EMI filter it'll send power to this board and it'll send power to every anything that's hooked up to it uh, you could also hook your uh, LED buttons into it again we got a 5 volt and a 12 volt so it makes it pretty nice um, I would say this board would probably handle up to probably three to four amps per per side on the 12 volt or the the 5 volt with the size traces that we ran I wouldn't exceed probably like I said probably you know four to five amp uh, should be max I don't think you'll have an issue beyond that uh, so you should be able to do an amp a marquee and uh, LED buttons without an issue I wouldn't I don't know if I would necessarily power an actual monitor with it an LCD driver uh, would be fine uh, those are pretty low amperage as well so you should be good on that as well basically if you're using our power supply the power supply will run out of, of amperage before the board uh, runs out of the ability to to you know to transfer it and that is the install video for this product if you have any questions feel free to contact us through uh, live chat on the website uh, messages through Facebook email however is the easiest for you to to, to get it done thank you